Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The Hurricane Watch Team is here with your latest tropical weather update. Tropical Depression 10 is continuing to develop there over the northwestern Caribbean Sea. Lots of outflow, bands still trying to develop, deep convection near the center. Um, that's kind of what we're looking at. Continuously seeing this deep amount of convection occurring. We're seeing the more development. We can see deep more convection we're seeing, the more the storm is going to develop, and that's generally what we're seeing. It's going to continue to meander and make its way off to the north today, as expected so far according to the National Hurricane Center, about 90 miles an hour. We do think this could easily become a Category 2, possibly even a major hurricane, uh, but that is later down the road. But as of right now, we are seeing a developing storm here. Um, the biggest threats with the storm are going to continuously be that heavy rain that we're going to see, the flooding, the storm surge, the saltwater flooding, um, the tornadoes, and possibly still dealing with some very powerful hurricane force winds as the storm will be making landfall. We do think this will be making landfall around Wednesday. So let's take a look a little bit uh, at the models and see what we got going on here. Uh, what does H4 have to say? Once we, oh lord. It already says it's a tropical storm. Okay. Alright, here we go. See what it shows for intensity. Damn, that is so wrong. What the fuck? There's three days. Like, literally, literally, it's a little strong, Mr. Showing. A pretty nice small eye, relatively small, but really a low end category one hurricane. You know, 80, 75 to 80 miles an hour. Or maybe, you know, 90 miles an hour. Showing a relatively weak storm. Again, some of these models still not picking up on how strong we think this storm may actually get. We do think we could be seeing 115 up to 115 miles an hour. Some of these models still showing a low end category one hurricane. And you can kind of see that's where it's where the mixed landfall. And pretty much when it makes landfall, it just pretty much weakens down to a low end category one or just a tropical storm in just a couple of hours. You want to take a look at a little bit of rainfall rates or in rainfall and how much we could see with this rainfall. Uh, so certainly dealing with a pretty uh, heavy rain, big rainmaker, even up into the northeast and the up into North Carolina, uh, as you can see the development of the system pretty rapidly develops there, a uh, very fast mover. And that's kind of what we're looking at as a trough lifts it up. Uh, we do think this is going to be a fast mover over the next several days. So it will not have enough time, you know, to be a, you know, category four or five hurricane. Uh, but Depending on how fast it uh, takes advantage of these warm sea surface temperatures will depend uh, of if, if it could become a major hurricane right there before landfall. 110, 115 miles an hour isn't out of the question because we are seeing temperatures 87, 88, 89 degrees Fahrenheit. It has the chance to do it. It just has to take advantage of it. We're going to have to watch this and monitor it. It already shows by this day uh, 90 miles an hour by the, by the 30th. And that's in three days. So it's got about three days uh, to make, la it's, you know, and it's, it's a tropical depression right now still. Uh, air pressure wise, uh, how low is this air pressure going to be? Uh, what were we looking at, like 90? Yeah, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So upon, we could be seeing pressure at 960, so, you know, that air pressure at 960 seems a little bit low for just a category one hurricane. You know, back to me, that would be about 100, 105 mile an hour category two. The 965 millibar seems relatively low. I don't know if we can see. I want to take a better look at the. I don't think it gets more air. Eh, that's alright. That's what they think it's going to look like upon landfall. So not a whole lot of, not super well developed, so obviously not a Category 3 hurricane there. Just by looking at that satellite, you can tell that that's not a uh, Category 3 hurricane or anything. Yeah, it's not good. 
GFS. I want to look at temperature. I want to look at total precipitation because that's what's going to be really important here. Thanks so slow. There we go. Hey, so I'm right for Houston, finally. Okay, that's like well 300 hours out from now. <laughs> okay, so. That's not why it's still working. 29th. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why this was happening about this. Any second now. So right here upon landfall, uh, here, this is just a quarter of the GFS, this is just one of the models here. Uh, they're saying, you know, six, seven, ten inches of rain, uh, depending on how fast this is moving, you know, ten, fifteen inches of rain, not out of the ordinary. This was a much slower movie, we could be seeing two, up to two, two and a half feet of rain. Yeah, we could we, be dealing with up to 24, 30 inches of rain, uh, but this is going to be a relatively quick mover, so about a foot of rain isn't uncommon, isn't unheard of. Uh, also, we'll be dealing with that storm surge and dealing with the salt water flooding. Again, if you live in the Florida Panhandle, anywhere along the upper Florida coast or the Florida Panhandle, anywhere uh, in along the east coast, even into Georgia, prepare. If you live in low-lying areas in southern Georgia, near Albany, Georgia, have a plan in place to be able to leave or to be able to go to another area uh, to prepare for this, okay? Because the storm is, it's going to be a quick mover, uh, and it's going to drop a lot of rain. It could bring some gusty winds uh, to areas of South Georgia, 50, 60 mile an hour winds to Southern Georgia. Depending on how fast the storm is moving, and how uh, strong it is, depending on how strong it is and how fast it's moving, it's going to determine how fast it intensifies. Uh, obviously right now, it's not even a storm, and it's not even moving that fast. be really getting the big rain amounts so that's what we're looking at with that uh, taking a look at if, uh, the European model is generally more uh, been the best in the past but none of the models really are picking up on how strong I think this is going to be I think this we could be dealing with the category 2 hurricane at least the category 2 hurricane you know, not a lot of rain because this is again going to be a fast moving system so uh, I don't expect there to be a lot of rain with this you know, yes, I do expect, you know, you know, 10 or 15 inches at most, 7, 8 inches around what I could be thinking uh, we, we're going to be seeing, but no, I don't think we're going to be seeing feet of rain, but 10 or 15 inches of rain, 7 to 8 inches of rain, to 10 to 15 inches of rain could do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. So heavy rain and flooding is going to be the biggest concern in the storm surge, and the heavy rain and flooding is going to be the biggest concern. Because when you get a lot of rain in a very short amount of time, not only does it cause flooding, but the trees become so saturated that any little gust, just a 50 mile an hour gust of wind can easily just knock over a tree because it becomes uh, almost just, you know, water rotted and just can't soak up any water and it's really, kind of become really dangerous. Tropical Depression City, I <laughs> didn't even know that. It's just going to be a tropical storm. It's going to go out to sea. It's going to dissipate before it even gets close to Hawaii. There's your quick update. So that's roughly where it's at right now. Uh, I do want to take a look at... Uh, so this is what we have composite reflectivity. This is what we think it's going to look like on satellite. It's basically what it'll look like on satellite. Uh, so I get a very fast moving storm. Only about three days uh, of time is going to be over water. Almost like the majority of the time over water has already been in the Caribbean. And it hasn't really gone very far. It's only increased by five miles an hour. 
I want to get all those hot uh, wa uh, waters of the Gulf of Mexico. I really think this storm is going to kind of just take off. Air pressure, I mean, technically. Okay. Okay. We can certainly see. It takes that more eastern turn closer towards Tampa. Others say closer towards Dustin, Apalachicola, Florida. So this storm is just, it's just, the what we're looking at is these storms are just kind of going all over the place, uh, these models are. There's no radar over here that we can see. But going back to satellite. satellite imagery to work that would be incredible it'd be incredible and then i want to talk a little bit about what we're looking at with satellite imagery a little bit so again deep convection over here uh, as it slowly drifts farther up to the north all this moisture is going to move into western cuba and so again even flooding continuing for mexico and cuba is going to continue um i do want to see if we can see uh i'm not curious if we see the outflow via uh radar uh in Key West. That we can. Now, yeah, because this would be at lower levels, not the upper levels, and you would have to look at the upper level. So I'd have to go to satellite. Actually, let's do this uh, Caribbean. No, I need to look at Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. No, no. Mexico Caribbean and then look at upper level water vapor. So this is uh, in the upper levels of the atmosphere here. And then kind of talk about, about what we're looking at here. That's fine, I don't care. So about 50 frames, give it some time. And talk a little bit about the environment that we're seeing here. A little bit of dry air through here, but majority of the dry air is out. Now you can clearly see the outflow all the way out into Kingston, uh, Jamaica. The outflow is incredible from this Belize. I mean, this storm is, is a lot bigger when you look at the upper levels of the atmosphere. Much easier to look at here. Well, that upper level low right there. That's pretty cool seeing that. A little, little bit of an upper level low right there. Had an upper level low out here. Might actually still be there. So I was going to talk about that. The other day I was looking at a satellite. I don't know why I didn't do a video yesterday. I got an upper level atmosphere. There was a bit of an area of low pressure. And I was going to say, just that doesn't seem to be there anymore. It's going to actually kind of help this if this redevelops. It's going to kind of, once this door pulls away, and if it's still out here, it's going to help make this door breathe because it's going to be pulling more of that moisture up through the column of the atmosphere and out through uh, the upper level through the outflow channels. And so it's going to be able to make the storm breathe even better. The more the storm can breathe, the faster that storm is going to develop. Upper level, mid-level water vapor. This is a little bit more dry air in the mid-levels. That's kind of what we're looking for. Oh, oh. So again, you can clearly see that outflow channels right here. Uh, the outflow channels move clockwise. And then let's take a look at the low levels so yeah, more dry air at the lower levels. Upper levels seem okay. Mid and low levels are iffy here for dry air. Lord, it's so glitchy. But you can see it, it, it incredibly much more about a convection uh, surrounding the center of the storm than we were seeing earlier. I think this can momentarily be 
uh, this is our tropical storm here uh, in 8x. Uh, what is it, 7? Well, the next round, uh, three, uh, three hours or so, I think this could be uh, uh, upgraded to a tropical storm. And that's already what we're looking at with the system. I'm going to go back to regular satellite. And that's really what we're looking for this up. So, again, if you live in these areas of Florida, the Panhandle of Florida, be prepared. Uh, have everything ready. If you have the means to evacuate, get your stuff and go west to Louisiana. That's where you're going to be safe. Yeah, it's going to be hot as hell, but you're going to be safe from the flooding, the strong winds, the, the storm surge, the tornadoes, and stuff like that. Uh, so, I urge you to do that. Get everything prepared. Have your generator, have your medicine, have your uh, pets together, have your everything that you need for your, if you have kids, have everything that you need together. Uh, just evacuate off to the west and you will be fine. You come back and you can figure everything else later. So really that's me for today guys. Just want to do a really quick update. The storm is becoming much more well developed. More outflow is becoming uh, better uh, defined and we're seeing a lot more convection near the center uh, and that's what is a sign of development and I do think this could be upgrade to a tropical storm over the next two and a half to three hours. That's what we have today, guys. This is the Hurricane Watching, your source for cyclone information. As always, stay safe and peace out.